Hey beautiful souls, welcome to your weekly energy update. We're looking at the week of November 27th through December 4th. And in these off weeks, outside of new moon and full moons, we've been rotating back and forth between, you know, love and self-love reading and these life purpose, career, worth readings. And so this week is the life purpose, the career, worth, whatever creator wants us to know about this week. But we do also have on December 2nd, Neptune tune which has been in retrograde for a while is moving into its post shadow period so neptune energy it does bring clarity to like our higher spiritual level and so we're bringing that energy into the reading this week and we're going to be asking what does spirit want you to know about your life purpose in connection to your higher self your true higher heart so of course we're going to have a reading for each individual zodiac sign and we're jumping into yours right now all right cancer signs this is your weekly energy update and we're going to start off by taking a look here at the wisdom of the avalon oracle and just see what the creator and spirit wants you to know about your life purpose any of the cards i use in a reading i do list in the description box of the video below so if any of them catch your eye and you want them for yourself you know where you can pick those up all right so for cancer what would you like them to know all right there we go right off the bat and you have the dog oh <laughs> beautiful card there and this is loyalty sincerity and unconditional love card number 19 so we'll put that right here and let's see what energy comes in there for you So the dog is the most loyal animal to human beings. And when the dog appears on your path, he reminds you of this trait. Are you steadfast with your loved ones? Are you true to yourself and your dreams? Do you act with sincerity? It's very important that you do so now, for good fortune comes with the faithful dog as your companion. The dog loves sincerely without conditions and is happy to be part of a pack. Think about how you function in your community. Are you a loyal team player? Another issue the dog asks you to consider is the loyalty of others. If someone is being insincere, move on because he or she isn't meant to be in your pack. Ask the dog for a sign and your answer will be shown. Dog energy lives in your heart, so look there. Wow, I love it. As regarding your life purpose and your worth and your like your career, I love the statement that said, are you true to yourself and your dreams? That really stood out here for you for this reading because I feel like the uh, what's keeping you from living your dream is that you're living a different dream that was handed to you. And this is about you being open to living your true dream that you find in your heart along with the dog spirit that's there. All right. We're also going to pull from these archetype cards here and see what else they'd like to add here for you. And these are like the energies of the archetypes, personality, just what else they would like you to know about the energy that can help you with this path. All right, they do want this one right here. And you have the advocate. So beautiful card there. Let you see that. And then I'll read the other things here. And it says the light attribute or the, um, you know, the positive, higher vibrational energy is it inspires you to put compassion into action. When we're on the lower end of this energy, the lower vibration, then we embrace negative causes or we commit to causes for personal gain. So opposite of the dog spirit, right? They're all about, hey, 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 how are you doing, right? I'm also going to read from the book here because spirit, I normally don't read from the book, but spirit had uh, brought this for this reading. They do want me to read from it. So it is about the kind of um, energy around this can be an attorney, can be a defender, a legislator, a lobbyist, environmentalist. 
And it talks about that this energy embodies a lifelong devotion to champion the rights of others and a passion to transform social injustices. You can be dedicated to inspiring the empowerment of groups or causes. The shadow advocate for this is someone who manifests in false or negative causes while seeking personal gain. So they recommend, ask yourself how much of your life is dedicated to social causes and a willingness to take action. So I do like this energy coming in here because you, of course, Cancer Signs, you are ruled by the moon and so you have this natural nurturing uh, type of energy, which is like, a, you know, they're showing me like one of the dogs that have, you know, the comfort animals. <laughs> so I'm not, not trying to refer you to as an animal, but it's a comfort. You are a comfort to so many people. And I feel like you're not living your dream in regards to that. You are doing things that are expected and that are what are you know, the supposed to, to do and the responsible thing to do, you know, all that kind of stuff. And they're telling you to look within your heart to see what it is and how you truly can change that. So we'll take a look here. We're also going to look into the good tarot here and see what else they'd like to add. So let's give these a good shuffle and see what else. <clears throat> Right. So what else for cancer, please? Okay, they did want that one. And they do want this one here, and they want this one to be here. And they want these two here. And then these two right here. All right. So get these scooched in and we will start with this one over here. And you do have the hanged man. So the hanged man is about um, seeing things from this higher perspective, seeing things differently. And uh, I do like this coming in here for you because it is a patience card. It's like things have been percolating for a while, right? And you have been getting to this point where you are ready to get out of the cocoon that you've been in, this place that may have been making you feel confined as changes have been happening in your life and things have been falling away. Pieces of you almost feels like are falling off, right? Which is what a caterpillar goes through when it's hanging upside down in the, in the chrysalis, right? In the cocoon. And so the time is though, I feel like sometimes this represents that it's slow and it's not going to come for a while, but I feel like you've been in this for a while and now is the time that you are coming out of the chrysalis. Yeah. Here we go, because you have the Ace of Air, the Ace of Swords. So you are connecting to these capital T truths that are rooted in unconditional love. And it's allowing you to cut away, you know, like we were here in this cocoon, cutting away these thoughts and these beliefs that no longer serve you. They served you for a time. They allowed you to feel small. They allowed you to feel stressed. They allowed you to feel all those things. Um, but you are ready. You are ready, so ready to move beyond those. And this Ace of Swords is given to you as a gift to help you cut away from all that. And it's the knowledge of the unconditional love, like it said here for the dog, of above that allows you to escape that and um, cut away the, the uh, binds and the bounds that have been keeping you there. Yeah, because here you go, you have the Eight of Earth, Eight of Pentacles in the Standard Tarot, which is all about the outside world and the movement up. Uh, again, there's this kind of apprentice feel to it where you've been doing the work, you've been really putting in the time, all the effort, the blood, sweat, and tears, and you are now ready to move to a different level in here. So you are ready to move this higher direction, whether it's relationship, job, education, um, moving in your, um, like your home or whatever it is, their outside world is now uh, starting to move. Whereas a lot of this was internal before it is moving into the outside world. 
And then you have the Three of Air, the Three of Swords. So this is the Disappointment and Heartbreak card. And I like this appearing over here by this Advocate because I really feel like what you have learned with this Ace of Swords, with the cutting away of the old expectations that used to disappoint you and just bring just feelings of fear into your life, you've learned during this process to really overcome them and transform them like with that hanging man and this is what you advocate for this is how you help other people you help them transform where they're at you help transform their pain and their viewpoints they have that have been disappointing them and making them feel like they have this just horrible life and you're allowing them to release these things and find freedom as well it's like you're helping others how to get out of their how to get out of their um, chrysalis, out of their cocoon. Yeah, because here's the Nine of Water. What a beautiful card to get. Because the Nine of Water, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment card, emotional wish fulfillment. So whereas before, whatever you're doing in your career, the stuff like we were saying, that you were hanging in there for a while, but it's just become so empty that that's why you're ready to make this move you're made it ready to make this transition in your life more in alignment with your life purpose because you are ready to feel this way by helping people in this manner whereas before you most feel like you're just um you know in the grind every day existing but this is how you start to feel like you are living instead yeah, and here's the Justice card. So the Justice card shows the, um, in one hand she, over here, she has the Ace of Swords, <laughs> which you have here. And then over, over here, they have the scales and there's this balancing out. Again, this is how you help people because you allow, on one hand, they have all this pain and all these expectations that are weighing them down, but you start introducing them to these higher truths, these capital T truths that are rooted in unconditional love, and it allows them to balance things out in their life too, where that's where the freedom comes, but they don't feel like they're so down, they get lifted up more and more and more and more. So I love that. And then you have, well, you have the Patience card coming in here again, which Patience, um, this is the, the Temperance card. It is the going back and forth, you know, tempering uh, with the Temperance card is like these, you have two cups and they're going back and forth. It's the purification process of like alchemy, where things go back and forth and back and forth for a little bit here. So you're patient as you make this move into the new area, the new way of doing things. So maybe you have to take a class or certify, or it takes time to go through the process to get trained to go into the area or express it in the way that you're wanting it to happen. But this hanged man, this patience was you, um, learning to choose your dream rather than be stuck in the old this is the process of you moving into this it's a process be patient with the process unfolding which i really feel you will be because now you're like living your dream rather than existing so every day becomes a beautiful wonderful experience more so than before waking up going oh crap i gotta go live my dream today <laughs> instead you're like i get to go take steps toward doing what I, i'm gonna love to do and you're doing that and you're implementing it so i like it and then your final card is going to be from the i am everything deck and this is just your final message from spirit for this week's uh, reading so what's your final message for cancer for this week for this reading anyway all right, this is the one right here. And you have I am attraction. Beautiful card. And it says, like a magnet, what I put out into the world, I get back. If I lead with negativity, I receive negativity. If I lead with positivity, I receive positivity. Therefore, I choose to lead with positivity. I am attraction. Yeah, and so definitely changing your energy of how you're investing it, no longer in the old, not in what's missing in your life, not what you wish wasn't in your life. Now you're focusing on what you do want in your life and what you're grateful for in your life 
and that attracts and magnetizes you to draw this into your life and then it starts repelling that but when you're focused on the negativity you focus in the negative and you repel the positive so i love the power that's coming in here and the awareness around this so can't wait cancer to see what you do with this amazing new steps and this new journey that you're headed off in here with this beautiful uh, future this how you express your your soul your life purpose so i'm excited i can't wait to see what you do but this is what they have for you um, for your reading for this week if you are looking for more messages of love from above in addition to these videos i also put out monthly readings for each individual zodiac sign and a few other types of videos throughout the month so if you don't want to miss out on any of these and get notified immediately when they become available if you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button and then also by clicking that subscribe button, you're given access to the notification bell. When you go in there, there is an option for all. If you select that, then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on the channel. But you'll also be notified when I go live on YouTube to provide free readings. I go live every single night and then also on Friday, Saturday and Sunday morning. So if you haven't stopped by, I'd love to see you. Also, doing those things I mentioned helps spread the Zen love, and it does help my channel grow in significant ways. Because when you like or share one of my videos, comment on one of my videos, subscribe to the channel, doing those things makes the YouTube algorithm so crazy excited. It wants to automatically share my videos with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those, please know I'm very, very grateful. And these are general readings. If you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings and all that information is listed in the description box of the video below. Right, beautiful people, as you go throughout this next week, please know every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and father of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing week. We'll be talking soon. But in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.